Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of World Off Garage. So she's back. Stay tuned and see what happened. All right, so um, like I was saying in the last episode, uh, we were taking our trip up to Wisconsin to pick up the uh, meat. We bought a cow, so from a family friend, and we went up there to pick it up. Um, but on the way up there, the truck went into, I guess is what is limp mode. It had no power, nothing was happening. Um, and it uh, was downshifting to get up really small hills, almost redlining, and it was barely keeping up with traffic. Um, so anyways, to get, whenever I got back, I called uh, the dealership, Katie with Century Dodge got me right in and um, she got it looked at. So apparently there was all kinds of issues that were going on. I'll read you what happened. Um, and this is all coming from the service electronic throttle control um, light that came on the dash. Um, so what happened, it says, um, the the code that it was giving was turbocharger under boost um, the removed it says removed engine cover and removed turbo boost sensor to inspect found sensor completely packed with soot remove the egr to intake cooler tube to inspect inner inter, internals of intake can't talk today found gummed up runner intake swirl valves replaced intake assembly the throttle gasket, the turbo elbow, the O-ring, EGR tube to EGR metal gasket, and replaced all the fuel lines and return fuel line due to one-time use and must be replaced when removed. Installed all the new parts, uh, cleared the um, air codes and test drove, found no lights. So basically they had to, um, and, and the new parts it's got on it, it's a manifold uh, tube kit, tube fuel, gasket, EG, O-ring, and seal turbo. So those are the things that um, all had to be replaced. I'm sure there's probably other things that they didn't fix right away because it wasn't an issue at the time. So I'm sure there's probably some other issues going on, um, but this engine that's in it right now has only got 26,000 miles on it. Um, I'm already having issues like that. I know I saw some of the comments said that um, you have to start it and let it get to this temperature and you can't do this and you can't hard throttle and you can't, you can't, you can't. I don't know why about the truck. If I can't do anything with the truck, I, it's, it's pointless. Um, if you're buying one of these like I did because you were going to pull a camper, you were gonna haul stuff, you were gonna do all kinds of stuff like that and you wanted a diesel to do it with, this is not the truck. Um, I've seen some of the comments on you know i've got 200,000 miles out of it i've got this many miles i'm not dogging anyone that is able to get that out of their truck um great i i'm happy that you guys were able to do this i'm just trying to tell you guys the experiences i've had with this truck and so far it's been miserable um i like the creature comforts of the truck the interior it for this for 2016 Comparatively speaking, um, I, you know, I'm only gonna do American, American whenever these were American, um, even though they're owned by Fiat now, but um, the interiors on these trucks are just, they're so much nicer than the Chevy and the Dodge. And I'm a Chevy person, I got the Impala and the Malibu. Uh, we've had an Impala before this and, you know, several other Chevys. Um, I decided to try this out. The interiors are just so nice on them, but um, that's the only thing that I have liked about it. Uh, as far as how it's ran and everything like that, it's been a disaster with the parts. Um, you know, the complete engine replacement at 103,000 miles and they wouldn't cover it under, under any of their extended warranties. Their regular warranty was up at 100,000 uh, for the powertrain. So they said you're 30,000 out of it. Well, they did an extended warranty on the engines, but they said that that was only for the top end of the engine. It wasn't actually for whenever it spun a rear main bearing. Um, so I was kind of screwed on that one. And almost $15,000 later, I've got this engine in it, which we are having to um, limp back to the dealership again to get it fixed. So um, that's been my, my issue so far with the truck. Um, if you are just tuning in, 
check out a lot of them. Um, a lot of them have got, you know, my videos, if you go back and look at them, it's got all kinds of issues that have been going on with the truck. Uh, we are getting ready to take it to um, the Gulf. We're gonna drive down as a family vacation down to Alabama, so we'll see how it goes. Um, it might be one of the last trips for the truck, and um, if you guys know anybody that needs a uh, previously owned, still under warranty truck, let me know. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Wolf Garage. You guys stay tuned and see what I'm up to next time.